how to draw the moon real easy. Let's start by drawing a crumbly edged kind of circle. So it doesn't have to be, well, it needs to be kind of circular, but it doesn't need to be perfect edge. And then we're going to fill it full of craters. And to do that, we're going to draw like a letter C and then we're going to draw a bit more inside it and then we're going to put dots in there like that and then these dots will get further and further apart the further you are away from the edge of the C and then just a bit outside that C like that we're going to draw the outside of the crater so we're going to do a similar kind of thing dark 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 and then these dots like that and this this style of shading is called stippling and so we can do another one here and make that a bit darker about there and then we kind of stipple that and we can draw that's the edge of the crater and we just do that and the stippling just gets further and further apart and spread out so the closer the dots are together the the darker the shading and the further apart the lighter the shading so here the sunlight is sort of coming this direction and we can put another one there and this is the thing that you kind of is it's a kind of thing you do by feel really and if it just feels right then you're probably doing all right and you just have to sort of just keep playing with it and adding remember you can't take dots away you can always add some later so if you're not sure don't do it and then sort of do the others and then come back see if you need to do that and it's filling in spaces now I'm just going to zip through all these other ones here and you can place them really wherever you like and just sort of filling in the the spaces. Now if you want to be a little bit artistic then <laughs> this is a sphere and as it goes around those circles become ellipses so as you come around towards the edges you can make these a little bit more elliptical rather than circular. And that's sort of a, a whole other game. But it does help to make it sort of add, add to that. You can put a little one in there that's kind of a more of a, an ellipse like that. And oh, maybe one down here as well, like that. Let's put a bit more in there. Like that. And then we need to shade the whole moon. So we're going to use the stippling again. So we don't want any of the stippling in the craters and I'm going to leave a gap all the way around here with no stippling so I'm just going to kind of stipple all around here so this will be the darker part of the shading and can you see that I'm sort of making it like a like a moon you know, a, um, you know a quarter moon shape or whatever that traditional moon shape so there's this sweeping arc around there this is going to be the darkest part and uh, the more accurate you can be the more you can actually fill in the spaces rather than just stab any old where and draw on top of a dot you've already done having got that in there then we want to sort of make the rest a little bit not quite so dotty so we need those dots to be further apart like that sort of around there and then as we get further and further around to where the sun is shining on this side then we have hardly any dots at all so those dots are just giving a bit of texture to the whole thing and we'll have a one or two around here but we really want this edge to be light it's called sort of ambient light it's kind of reflected back from other things and then we can sort of finish up the whole thing by adding a bit of scribble around the edge <laughs> which is the universe and it just sort of brings the whole thing forward it sort of turns it into a, a kind of a designer logo designer moon 
kind of logo kind of thing and I'm just going to zip through the rest of this. This also helps you to um, sharpen up the edge a little bit if you've got it slightly um, in the wrong shape so you can kind of like here I can maybe smooth that down a little bit there and then I think we just need to come all around the outside in a sort of Catherine wheel kind of way like that in one direction like that and then we can go back all the way around the other way just to give it that sort of equal scribbly look might just pop another one in there and there you go how to draw the moon real easy thanks for watching and make sure you are subscribed to draw stuff real easy and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos every week in the meantime keep drawing 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 practice 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 and i'll see you next time you take care now bye bye